Guys, welcome to the Need for Speed Heat versus series. My time attack series where I pit two cars against each other in a three race battle. Now, today we have the 2000 Honda Civic Type R. And then we have the 2004 Acura RSXS. Both are front wheel drive, both are beasts. Now the Civic is at 824 horsepower with a 2.9 liter V8 with 703 torque with a zero to 60 of 2.23 seconds. Now the RSX is a 1017 horsepower four liter flat six only producing 624 torque and a zero to 60 of 2.4 seconds. Now swap out the drag tires and the Civic drops from 2.23 to 1.8 and the Acura goes from 2.4 to 2.07. Now it's time to pit these two cars against each other. We're doing a regular drag race at the abandoned raceway. The Civic pulls through by just a hair. It's because the, the drag tires give up 1.8. Now, this one, I drag from a certain point through the speed trap. The Civic gets there a little early, but they both track the same time of 138 mile an hour. So, I picked three courses. I try to pick something that's like a little technical, maybe some straightaways, and then, you know, something, I don't know, to give like a good mix. So, it's it's like a fair race. It's not like, oh, okay, well, this car specializes in these type of corners or straightaways. So, you know, I can't give one the advantage. So anyway, we picked, what do we have? First race is gonna be Juno, all right? Second race, is Port View, and third race is Cross Mountains, which is the only sprint race during the daytime. Let's jump into it. Here we go, Juno. It's one of the first races in the game. It's actually kind of fun to go back. Now, the Civic gets off the line a little quicker due to that zero to 60 time. All right, now I think <laughs> uh, I did way more uh, redos in the Civic than the RSX actually um, they were both at least like minimum 10 runs um, but regardless the Civic is very nimble you can tell it's light but the RSX ah, something just feels so good about the RSX it handles so well especially for a front-wheel drive car and you can tell like when you come out of a corner and you mash the throttle you can feel it like pull the car like a front wheel drive does and it, it straightens the rear end out. It's, it's so cool. It's definitely different from driving the all wheel drive and the rear wheel drives that we've been driving. Now right here, I believe, that's pretty close. I think the Civic, yeah, the Civic is just slightly ahead. Now these races, all of them were close. All of them were like literally down to the wire. Right there, the RSX pulled through that checkpoint first. I was, I, I, try, I tried my hardest. And right here, that Civic got close to the barrier. Who hits the jump first? Looks like the Civic, by a hair, and the Civic landed. Just, oof, final out, see who takes this corner better. The Civic cut it close to the building than uh, the RSX did, the RSX cut a little wide. I don't know, man. This one's close. I haven't actually watched them side by side like this yet. This is pretty exciting, because like, I don't, I don't remember who won off the top of my head. It was so close. RS, see the RSX? The, the RSX is pulling in that straightaway. Like the speed, it just accelerates so much quicker. Civic clipped the barrier there. I, no matter how much I tried, I just, that was my best run. Here we go. Across the line. Ooh, that was close. That was super close. Who do you guys think won? Oh, the Civic. 206.45 versus the 206.59. That is so close. So we gotta give it to the Civic on that one. The Civic wins round one. Race number two, here we go, Port View. It is down in Port Murphy. It's a fairly simple 
Oh, circuit race now. I redid this race like minimum 20, 25 times each. Because a freaking AI screwed me every single time. Like, there was a Camaro, like every other retry, that would just blast off the line and then just slam on his brakes. And I hit him every time. I was like, oh! And like, sometimes they would go to the right and I would try to cut to the right while they were going to the left and they would just shoot right or uh, we were kind of on the first corner and they would just go like me 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 and I was like what are you guys doing but anyway the Civic is ahead right now now I think the Civic is a little grippier through some of the corners but the RSX definitely has I feel like a better like top speed it accelerates like it doesn't slow down like it's acceleration once it gets like 180 200 it just keeps going um oof, yeah the civic's in the lead on this one he's, he's taking it big time he's pretty far ahead actually look checkpoint that's like two seconds wow i didn't even notice yeah i think the civic is better on like a short technical track where there's like because there's a lot of these corners are basically 90 degree corners i mean the rsx it it loses it like in the corners but then the rsx picks back up on the straightaway and gains some ground back that's where that car shines i honestly if i had to pick one of these two cars i'd drive the rsx all day just because of how it feels when you drive it Ooh, i think the rsx caught up Look at this. Ooh. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. That was close. What do we got? A 158.25 and a 157.95. So 0.3 tenths of a second. That's close. That is so close. Now, mind you, I redid these races to try to get my best possible time with both cars, so it was fair. I didn't settle like, oh, I want this car to win. I'm gonna make sure it wins by a hair. No, I raced as hard as I could. And I, trust me, I spent <laughs> hours on these three races just to get them right. The last and final race, race number three, Cross Mountains. Now this is a sprint race from right around the quarry all the way down to Port Murphy. It's like an uphill battle and then it's downhill. Now this first corner, both cars went off road. I pretty much had to avoid uh, the, the AI players and it was like no matter what I did, like there was a countage on some of them. He stayed out in front until like 20%. Like it was kind of crazy. Right there, the RSX taps him, whatever. I think the RSX is just a hair ahead. But this course, I don't know. I think the acceleration of the RSX helped it with this hill climb. I mean, let's face it. it's This part is essentially a hill climb. The first half is a straight on hill climb. And that RSX, that acceleration, really helped to push it through. I mean, I don't know, the Civic pulled back through. The Civic is in the lead right now. It was, it's, it's such a close battle. I had a lot of fun making this, man. It gets frustrating when you have to keep restarting, especially like this race is long. This is a long race. And it's a sprint, or yeah, it's a sprint race. So you make one little mistake, like at 70%, you gotta start over. You gotta get the best possible time. Ooh, the Civic is ahead. It's I. It's it's the grip of the Civic. Like yeah, the, the RSX. It has the acceleration, but that grip is pulling that Civic through these tight little corners. I think the RSX does catch up though. Once once you start that the downhill battle, like look how far ahead the Civic is. But once you get to that downhill battle, that RSX flies. Yeah, he's ahead big time. Look at that. Let's count. One to three seconds, just about two and a half, three seconds behind. That's nuts. Now both of these are set up for 
maximum road and track or whatever it is the bottom left um, I use the best engine this part right here this is where the RSX is catching up big time but this part is so it's just it's blistering fast whipping through there and you you got those barriers on each side of you and you got to make sure that you're not like hitting these like little bumps and like flying off and into them because you hit those barriers you you lose so much speed you lose like 80 mile an hour just bam off of one touch um but driving you know 220 230 mile an hour through that it was it was uh it was a rush man because i haven't done this race since i guess the one time i did in the game but if you saw right there both cars it looked like they went through the checkpoint at the same time what about this one boom i think the rsx is pulling yeah the rsx it hit top speed way quicker. See, that's where the RSX shines. This downhill battle. Civic might have gotten the uphill, but downhill, this RSX. Look at that. Ooh, Civic got a little squirrely right there. I tried that corner so many times. And as you see, it's 82% into the race. And the problem with these late cars is you go around that corner at like 200 plus, you fly off and you, you go into the barriers. So. So we got close to the barrier right there. Oof, RSX is hauling through this. The RSX went a little off course, hit the barrier, whatever. I wasn't worried about it because <laughs> yeah, I wasn't doing it again. As you can see, the RSX pulled ahead. RSX wins, kind of by a landslide, if you will. What did, what did he do? A 352.26, so 0.97. Almost a full second on the Civic. And mind you, that Civic was what? We counted two and a half, three seconds ahead at one point. And the RSX came back on the downhill and whooped the Civic. The RSX only won one race. The Civic won two races. So the Civic is the winner. The Civic wins this time attack battle. I'm a little disappointed because I love the RSX. I, it just, it feels better to me. But the Civic was a top contender and it held its own. I gotta give it to the Civic. This was a fun battle another front wheel drive car to pit the Civic against. Maybe it won't be front wheel drive. Maybe we'll find a car that's slightly similar in, in the times I put down and we'll go from there. But as of right now, the 2000 Civic Type R is the winner of this battle. Now, that's it for this episode of Need for Speed Heat Versus. If you guys enjoyed it, you wanna see more, let me know what kind of mashups you want. I got a couple planned out, but eventually it's like I made a whole grid on Google of, of um, all the cars. I typed in all the cars on the spreadsheet. I typed in all the day races, all the night races, all the off-road races, all the drift races. I got it all mapped out. And every time I do these races, I'm going to plug in the car and the course, and then I can go and compare. And it's we're going to eventually narrow it down to see who the fastest is. But um, yeah. Anyway. I will see you guys on the next one.